What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, a.k.a. He Who Hungers. And I'm back up in this bitch for another rant slash review. Today, I like to talk about this album right here. The collaboration album between Prince Poe and Ono oh called Animal Serum. All right, um, for those that don't know who Prince Poe is, he is an MC that was in the legendary group called Organized Confusion. He was one half of Organized Confusion, the other half being Pharaoh Manch. And um, <clears throat> Organized Confusion went on to release three albums during the 90s. And they broke up in 97, I believe it was. And Prince Paul and Pharaoh Manch went on to do solo shit. And Prince Poe, to me, he, he sort of got overshadowed by Pharaoh Manch, because Pharaoh Manch hit with that um, one track, Simon Says, on his um, first solo album, Internal Affairs. Uh, Prince Poe, I don't know, man. Um, he was more on the low with his shit, and Organized Confusion is probably one of the most lyrical groups out there. So if you haven't heard of them, Go check them out. They have three albums. Uh, first one, self-titled. Second one is Stress the Extinction Agenda. Very, very criminally slept on album that one is. And um, the last one is called Equinox. And um, the Equinox is kind of hard to get. I know I have it in my collection back there somewhere. But um, check out Prince Poe. Um, very conceptual artist, dope flow, dope voice. Um, oh no, oh no, I know I spoke on him before, but in case I haven't told y'all about him, he is the brother of the super producer known as Madlib, and um, oh no is also an MC as well as, an, as a producer. Check out his, his solo album, The Disrupt, that shit is dope as shit. And he hasn't really released anything uh, solo as far as emceeing except the disrupt everything else has either been a, a group effort like gangrene I've talked about gangrene that's his group with uh, himself and the alchemist and he's also released a slew of um, producer albums just beats and he's a dope beat maker much like his brother must be in the blood or must be in the genes or whatever but um <clears throat> These two came together to form, to, to create this album. They don't have a group name. The name of the album is called Animal Serum. <clears throat> and um, beat-wise on here, again, like I just said, I, I'm, I'm not going to complain about any of the beats on here. I think they were dope as shit, very consistent. Um, let's go into some of the features on this bitch. You have Saphir who goes by Saphir Sizzling. You have Rockness Monster, AKA Rock from Helter Skelter. You have OC, Pharaoh Manch, Sadat X, Ono, oh MC in on here, and Rock C. <clears throat> All these guys get on here, they do their thing. There's not one MC on here that's whack to me. Um, there's 14 tracks on here. <clears throat> few things that I gotta say about this. Um, let me let me open this up because Prince Poe kind of did the work for me when it comes to this to this shit. He actually it was funny. They they wrote down what songs on here, um, what the concepts of the songs are. So it says like songs two, four, five, eight, and ten. It says is a daily recommended dose for deep thinkers, the politically correct, the educated, educated, and intelligent war vets. Then it says, <clears throat> songs 3, 6, 11, and 14 is a suggested daily nighttime dosage, high in antioxidants, recommended for hustlers, soul survivors, on and off grid, Navy SEALs, and for loved ones and real homies doing bids. Song 12 is a potent for formula, good for 
young socially aware individuals who's isolated for thinking outside the box. It says in parentheses, the matrix. Songs seven, nine, and 13 are energy boosting vitamins. Perfect for rocking parties and getting incredibly turned up. A must for all ages. So basically he's describing these tracks as, you know, he got his socially political, socially um, driven content on here. Um, he also has stuff for all ages, like high energy type shit. Um, and, um, you know, just it, this, this basically encompasses his style. It, it, it's nothing different from shit that he spit in the past, um, especially if you listen to organized confusion shit. Um, <clears throat> I forget the name of uh, Prince Poe's uh, other albums, the one that was released on fucking, what was it, Lex Records. I forget that one. It's like a picture frame. And he has MF Doom and so forth on there. I think Gemini's on that bitch. Um, but anyway, um, if you're um, familiar with Prince Poe's shit, you should already know what he encompasses on this uh, with his style and how he sounds. He still sounds fresh on this shit. Um, another thing, something that I, that kind of disappointed me, but it wasn't that big of a deal. The track that um, was kind of the draw to this album, Smash, featuring OC and Farrow Munch. And, um, you know, what I kept hearing about this album is, oh shit, Organized Confusion is back together because Farrow Munch is on that track. And then you also have OC on that track as well. And um, that kind of um, is dope because they're, they're, all three of them are dope rhymers. But um, <clears throat> I wanted to hear Munch and, and, and Poe go back and forth, you know? But it was cool to have OC on there. Um, also, I wish that the, the beat was switched out. There's a track on here called Toxic featuring Oh No. That would have been perfect for uh, Manch and Prince Poe to go back and forth on. That track, perfectly. That reminds me of a track on Stress, the uh, Extinction Agenda, I think it's called, uh, what was it? Uh, Releasing Hypnotical Gases, I believe the track is called. I get that feeling when listening to that track, Toxic. And um, I think content-wise, they should have both came better on some lyrical shit. Uh, but um, again, you know, that, that it's very trivial compared to the bigger picture. The album's pretty dope, very solid album. Um, I highly recommend y'all to go out and get it. Support Prince Poe and Oh No. Um, <clears throat> my rating of this album, I would give it a 7.5 to an 8. I think that it's very good. Short, sweet, straight to the point. Nothing super overbearing, um, but lyrical gems, dope jewels dropped by the legendary Prince Poe. Shout out to Oh No. Shout out to uh, Prince Poe and um, check out those albums that I told you about. But most of all, get this shit, all right? And um, that's it. Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. Support dope shit, all right? Peace, bitches.